Welcome to The Good Life, the City of Bryan's monthly reminder of the great things happening in Bryan. With the recent population growth in Bryan comes the need for additional public safety personnel. The Bryan Fire Department is not only looking to fill that need, but also ensure current firefighters receive the best possible training. located right in the heart of Bryan today. Uh, we're working with our newest recruits. These are um, individuals that are civilians straight off the streets with no prior certifications. We also have uh, certified recruits in here in this program that have been through a fire academy of some sort. And today we're actually practicing day one of search and rescue of pulling out uh, victims out of a structure fire. This lot was donated to us and we're actually utilizing this not only for our recruit program, but we're utilizing this for our, our company level training throughout the fire department. So uh, this was this is essential to our job. It's not like going to a brick building um, that's uh, gutted out, that's just uh, walls, roof, and floor. This is actually set up like somebody's living here. This, this can't get any better than what it is right now because this is what we will respond to. The way the house is presented to us, the locked doors, the uh, windows that are uh, paint it shut that we can't open up. This is real life and this is what we train on every day. And the ability to be able to be here and train on uh, these type of structures that are gonna be demoed, uh, our cadets that are coming through their program right now, the ability of searching a house and looking at the bars and looking at the, the egress points of pulling potential victims out can't get any better than what it is today. We're looking for anybody and everybody that's willing to step up, put on a helmet, throw a jacket on, and answer the call for help when their community calls for them. We're actually looking for those candidates, and you simply can visit the City of Bryan website, follow a couple of the links that we have posted on the social media sites, on the City of Bryan Fire Department website, and that will take you through an application process. And then if you're uncertified or certified, we send you through a 14-week fire academy where we prepare you to be the best firefighter, uh, not only for your safety, but to provide the highest level of service to our community. There is a huge pride being a Brown firefighter. Uh, when you walk into the community, they give to you so much and they provide to you so much and we're very grateful for that. And we respect our community. This is a very, very good place to work for. Uh, great city leadership, great fire administration leadership, which all filters down to the guys on shift. We're very prideful in this uh, organization, and we want Bryan Fire Department to be the best department in the state of Texas. On February 11th, the city of Bryan celebrated the grand opening of Travis Fields. This latest addition to Midtown Park features covered batting cages, concession stands, LED lighting, and three turf fields. At the dedication, one of the fields was named in honor of the late Parks and Recreation Director, Linda Cornelius. Travis Fields will bring out-of-town baseball and softball events to Bryan and serve as a catalyst for our local economy. Great news, Bryanites. We're pleased to announce that the city of Bryan will be officially certified as a music-friendly community on March 4th. Join us at the Grand Stafford Theater in downtown Bryan for a free concert featuring the Mark Daniel Band and country artist Brandon Hody. Doors open at 7 p.m. and we hope to see you there. Spend your summer having fun in the sun and hanging out with friends. Become a City of Bryan lifeguard or summer camp counselor. Bryan Parks and Recreation is currently looking to fill these positions for summer 2022. Apply online at bryantxjobs.com. Following every U.S. Census, government entities must redraw district lines to avoid malapportionment. Mary Lynn Strada, Bryan's city secretary, worked with redistricting experts to ensure every Bryan citizen has a fair vote. When you run it out of luck, need to get unstuck, so go off. When you rub against the wall and you cannot fall, so go off. Redistricting refers to a principle in the U.S. Constitution called the one person, one vote principle. And that's been promulgated into federal law that says that any governmental entity that elects its elected officials by wards, districts, or precincts 
that after every federal census, they must review that data to determine if redistricting is necessary. So the 2020 federal census data revealed that the city was out of compliance with the one person, one vote principle because our least populated to largest populated district variance was 26.4%, which greatly exceeds the 10% allowed by federal law. So of course, we had to redistrict to bring the districts into compliance with federal law. We, we didn't have a choice. It was required by federal law. So with the redistricting plan that the council did adopt, we are very much within the 10% variation allowed by federal law. Also, with this districting plan, it's going to allow for continued growth to the north, east, and west because we, we don't have landlocked districts anymore. But this plan resolves that and makes an allowance for continued growth um, in those directions. Uh, the city hired the law firm of Bickerstaff, Heath, Delgado, Acosta from Austin. They are redistricting experts. So we, we hired them. Uh, they are the law firm that helped us with our initial districting back in 1993. But ultimately this plan was um, looked at and given the green light by the redistricting attorneys as being in compliance with federal law and making sense uh, for the voters of Bryan. <music>